How's it, chefs? Another quick one from the Burton Bills garage. Uh, if you saw maybe the previous video, it might have been a few videos back, we installed that brand new 5,000 litre eco tank. Super stoked with it, um, with installation so far. Hello? I guarantee you it will leak, but that's a job for another day, I think. Jesus, a lot is a job for another day. This video today, for those of you who have rainwater tanks, have you ever wondered what dirt accumulates inside the tank and uh, how often they need to be cleaned and you know, sort of exactly what happens inside? Well, this tank has been, uh, hasn't been cleaned, should I say. It's been on our property um, and it hasn't been cleaned for at least two years. Two years that I know of, it might have been longer. Anyway, I'm gonna show you today what accumulates inside these tanks when you've got a direct runoff from your roof through your gutter um, without any first flush system or without any um, sort of leaf catcher straining net type of mechanism. So we're gonna tip this tank over, have a look inside, we're gonna wash it out, clean it out, and then uh, at least you guys have some better idea, um, you know, about how you can maintain and treat your own, your own water installations, whatever you might have around your property. So I guess first things first, we need to tip the tank over. I mean, as you know, they've generally got manholes in the top. Um, guys, kind of be careful when you do this, you don't wanna damage your tank. Ugh. I might have to go over to the other side and start tipping it from there. But, yeah, I'll just be careful as you are tipping it. Look, I don't know, I can't remember how I did this last time. But let's just see. I have tipped this over a couple of days ago. Let's just see what happens here. You guys clear on your side? I don't know, I can't see you anymore. So, hopefully. Oh, here it goes. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. So, you can see on the top of the tank we had our inlet over here. This was the downpipe from the gutter system. And then... Of course, if we take the lid off, then we can see exactly what is inside. So let's get you a closer look inside here. Don't be alarmed about what you see. <laughs> and there we go. You can see there is quite a lot of sludge. Uh, so of course, the bottom of the tank, you know, that was all sitting at the bottom of the tank. Generally all of the sediment uh, settles in the bottom of the tank over months and years. And you can actually see how much is settled in there over at least two years. Um, just as a matter of interest, you know, if your tank has been sitting and it's not agitated around, and you look down this manhole that we're looking in here now, uh, generally speaking, you shine a light down and the water lo looks crystal clear, and then you can see a little bit of sediment on the bottom. However, looking at it now, when I looked in this tank originally, it didn't look like there was much, but now that I see that it is all um, sort of bunched up, you know, along one edge. There is quite actually, there's quite a lot of sediment in here. Probably a mixture of mud and um, plant material that's been decaying over time. A whole lot of seeds, some leaves. Ew, yeah. So this is exactly why you want to clean your tanks out every now and again. You don't want bacteria or whatever else grows in these tanks, especially if it's being plumbed into your house. And uh, if you're not treating it, well, you probably shouldn't be directly drinking it. It should be filtered and sanitized properly, but yeah, at least you guys know and can see and can see what all gathers inside of these water tanks. So I'm not actually too sure what's the best way of getting all of this stuff out of here. Um, I have on much bigger tanks climbed inside the tanks before and then kind of scooped it out. Maybe that's what we'll do today. I'll get a bucket, we'll scoop all of that out. And um, then of course we'll rinse it out. Maybe jick the inside of the tank, use a bit of bleach, rub it down. I don't know. If any of you guys know better, let us know in the comment section. I've been looking forward to doing this for a long time as so I want tanks clean, but I'm not looking forward to actually doing the job. I think we'll try squirt some of it, tilt the tank. Hopefully it comes down to the bottom. Huh? Ah. Okay. I don't know, I can't see. Can you, can you guys see on that side? Is it coming out? Just uh, let me know once it's all down. Yeah, don't all shout at once. Uh, okay, fine. If you don't want to say anything, then I'll just come and look myself. Ugh. 
Wow. That's nasty. Nasty. Look, I can't see, I can't exactly see how close it is to you, so on the other side there, if it is gonna bump you on the head, maybe just take a step backwards. Would also be nice if you would let me know though. Um, ugh. Just sticking my finger in this bottom hole here where the original outlet was, it is gross. Holy crap. Okay, maybe. Yeah, probably almost bumped you on the head. Oh no, definitely. This stuff is coming out here. Yeesh. Well, when I mean, you can <laughs> clearly see on the on the ground here how much has actually come out of here. Ugh, it's gross. Um, well, I suppose we've got quite a mess here already. Oh, my God, gross. Holy <coughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> it's just... Holy shit. No, man, my God. <laughs> I don't have the strongest of stomachs, but geez. <sighs> oh, I love my job. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I am super glad I didn't climb into the tank with all of this, all of this stuff uh, still in there. Jeez, this is, this is some nasty shit. I mean, I don't know how we stand here so far. We've, I mean, it's almost like I need a cup or something to, I don't know, to get this out of here somehow. Ugh. Oh, gosh. Stop, man. Mm. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, can you switch it off? <laughs> Why are you stuck? There we go. Definitely looking a whole lot more clean now inside there. Um, I'd definitely be, be willing to climb inside now and give it a bit of a scrub. Yeah, so far so good. <laughs> okay, so we've got an initial clean. I'm gonna try and flip it back up and then, oh! <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna call it a day for now. We'll get this mess, up, mess cleaned up on the grass. Maybe just rinse the outside of the tank off. And then we'll do the, do the, we'll do the bleaching or the other cleaning another day. Uh, I need to go and deal with something else now quickly. So, so far I'm pretty happy with it. This, that is nasty. Basically scooped up all of that mess we had down there and it has filled up a 10 liter bucket. Pretty gross stuff, mostly leaves and plant matter. I had two buckets, I thought it might have filled that up, but anyway, pretty glad to have got that out. So, on to the next job. So, after spraying it out with the hose, uh, we can see that there's Still a little bit of dirt here. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray it, spray it off with the um, or with the hose pipe and brush it off with the broom, and I'm sure that'll be good enough. There's the outlet. Looking at it from a, sort of the inside perspective of a tank, and there's the top. That's where the old um, 
inlet used to be from the down part, the gutter down part, and that is the manhole. So we can see that uh, the sides of the tank are actually all still nice and clean. Well, there's a little bit of um, dirt up there, but again, we'll just spray this and brush it off, and I'm sure that is going to be more than good enough. So where does all of this dirt and muck come from and how do we stop it getting into the tank? Well, whatever lands on your roof washes into the gutters, down the downpipe and into your tank. So there are two tricks we can do to fool the leaves into taking a bit of a short lift to Gonville. The first one is using a rain head or a leaf catcher, a leaf eater or some of the other terms or something like a tank screen filter. This thing goes inside the top of your manhole in your tank. So that'll take care of most of the leaf and debris problem. But what about the dirt? Uh, we use something called a first flush system and I'm hoping to show you guys that and these leaf eaters in the next video. So make sure you are subscribed and like this video so that you don't miss out on the next one. Hit the bell icon. Maybe the video is even out already and I'll link it here over on the left hand side. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave us a comment in the comment section. It's always good to hear from you. My name is Grant Burton. This is the Burton Bulls Garage and you guys will see me in the next video. Cheers.